We're on our way to get some lobster from Belfast all the way across the water to Young's Lobster Pound. But first we gotta take a boat to go across the water. Let's ride the back and forth over here. Hey. Hey, welcome to the back and forth. Ooh. Lobster Pound. One of the best lobster rolls you can find here in this Belfast area along Maine's mid coast and islands. Look at this beauty and how huge it is, packed with lobster meat. Lobster wasn't always the hip thing to eat, it wasn't always classy, it wasn't always a destination for people to come all the way up to Maine to have a good lobster. And the lobster used to be the food for the very, very poor and disenfranchised people of the Northeast region of the United States. Lobster got to such a bad position that they were feeding it to prisoners in Massachusetts for three times a day. The Supreme Court ended up ruling that this was cruel and unusual punishment and is now something we find in our Bill of Rights. The lobster was known as the sea roach. No one really wanted to eat it because people got sick and tired of it. They got sick and tired of it because there usually would be up to two feet of lobster piling up to the shore and people just ate it basically to getting sick of it. So the lobster started being associated with the very poor and disenfranchised people of the Northeast regions. And if you did eat lobster, you had to scurry away, you had to hide the shell so no one knows that you were caught eating such a poor man's food. However, something changed in World War II. Supermarkets came into prominence in the 1950s and the lobster started being sold in cans. And people went crazy for it. They loved this meat that was used to be known as the sea roach and started eating it in their own homes all across America. Mm. So how did we get here to enjoying the lobster roll? Well, people got obsessed with lobsters sold in cans across America that they wanted to go to actual source. So people started visiting Maine's mid coast and islands region in droves to eat some authentic Maine lobster. And the trend took off. It took up so far that the lobster dinner ended up becoming the food for the rich. The food that everyone would pay Sometimes 30, 40, 50, $100 for a good steamed lobster. But now lobster is a little bit more accessible. You can buy your own good lobster roll here at Young's Lobster Pound for a modest price. While eating this, you have to think to yourself, this is a billion dollar industry here in Maine. Do you usually fish early in the morning? Yeah. Yeah? And the lobsters are inside there? Oh. Yeah. And yeah, this is what it does, it picks up the floor. Maine had a real good uh, conservation program for a long time, so that's why we got the fishery that a lot of other states don't have anymore. Yeah. Billion dollar industry, not just from the lobstermen, but all the adjacent industries associated with it. All the boats being made and maintained, the bait used to catch the lobster, the cages, the nets, the ropes everything associated ends up to be a one billion dollar industry. So this is Maine. And biting into it, you can taste the sea. Here in Maine, people love blueberries. Blueberries grows all around Maine and it is used in countless items, not just pie, but from hot sauce to beer to cider to everyday pastries. But here we're trying a good blueberry pie. Mm, this is the taste of Maine. After you're filled up with a bunch of lobster rolls, maybe even a lobster dinner, you just call back the, the back and forth boating company and you make your way back to the main street of Belfast. It's that easy. If you want to learn more about Maine's mid coast and islands, go to travelmidcoast.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ariel. Keep being awesome and always keep on exploring.